Giannis is 6'11", but small forwards heights max out at 6'10 in this. So I'm going to make him 6'10", uh, but just know he's 6'11". One inch doesn't hurt. That's not a sus. But he's going to be a 6'10 small forward, okay? So we're going to hop right into the pie charts. Now, I consider Giannis to be a slashing playmaker type of build. You know, he's pretty good at dribbling, playmaking, and he can also finish really well. So just for that, we are going to choose this pie chart right here with the finishing and playmaking maxed out. A physical profile I think we should go with the top one so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose the top pie chart just so we are as fast as possible now it's the upgrade okay we got to max out the shooting okay Giannis is not too good of a shooter but yeah we got to max out the shooting just so we get all of our 12 shooting badges playmaking I think we're gonna just try to put all this up for now geez 30 playmaking badges you guys probably don't need 30 playmaking badges honestly if you really wanted to you could really be fine with having like eight playmaking badges because playmaking badges are hall of fame on this player all you really need is quick first step and handles for today's hall of fame the rest you can just mess around with so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna drop this down just so i can get 16 playmaking badge upgrades because we got to upgrade the defense a lot so we got 10 defensive badges when we max out everything which isn't the greatest but it's also not terrible so i can lower my block by 13 until I drop a defensive badge upgrade. So that's gonna help me a lot because we have 13 extra upgrades now to use on whatever we want. So we gotta up the driving layup a little bit. Yeah, we can lower pass accuracy a little bit. I'll be fine with 12 playmaking badges. Like I said, as long as I have Hall of Fame, handles for days and quick first step, I'm gonna be fine. So pass accuracy, we lower to a 70 and we can up the driving layup to a 84 which gives us five finishing badges, 12 shooting badges, 12 playmaking badges, and 10 defensive badges. It's pretty balanced. I like this build a lot. We don't need too many finishing badges, like I said, as long as we have contact finisher hall of fame, which we do, we're gonna be fine. So these are the final attribute upgrades right here. I'm gonna leave this on the screen just in case you know you guys wanna copy it down. The sub count's right there on the screen. Everybody, stop what you're doing, drop a like on this video, and subscribe with those post notifications on. I'm gonna get you guys involved in some videos. You know, I'm gonna do a lot of giveaways in the videos, stuff like that, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So you guys wanna make sure you're subscribed and go follow me on Instagram too and follow me on Twitter. Then the height, we're gonna make him 6'10". Like I said, Giannis is 6'11". You can't make a 6'11 small forward in this game, so we're just gonna make him 6'10". We can do minimum wingspan just because it makes us faster, and it also makes our driving dunk and layup go up. Now let's move on, wingspan. Now you can't get pro dribble moves on this player just because he's super tall, but the good thing about this is if you make the wingspan maximum, your driving dunk gets a plus three, and that means that you can get contact dunks once you hit 98. Another good thing I forgot to mention is you're going to have Hall of Fame playmaking badges on this player, which means you're going to be really fast because you're going to be able to put on Hall of Fame quick first step. This build is crazy. So you could choose glass cleaning takeover or slasher takeover. We got to go with slasher takeover. It's only right. So let's go ahead and put that on. And now we have the finisher. All right. I'm going to show you guys what badges we're going to put on right now. But y'all make sure to hit that like button and subscribe before we continue. Got five potential upgrades you got to put it on contact finisher of course the last one you can put it on whatever you want i would say the best are probably acrobat fancy footwork pro touch or slithery finisher so i'm gonna just put it on acrobat then the 12 shooting upgrades got to put catch and shoot on got to throw on hot zone hunter uh probably corner specialist gold because you're not going to be the primary ball handler so you're probably going to be in the corner for a lot of the time i would say green machine silver and I guess range extender bronze, why not? Now playmaking, we got 12 playmaking badges. We need handles for days, quick first step hall of fame. Now the last four upgrades, I recommend you put bailout silver and unpluckable silver. Now we have 10 defensive badges, gotta put clamps, gotta put intimidator. Since you're probably gonna be playing the two or the three when you're playing park, I recommend you put rebound chaser bronze, chase down artist bronze, and then box and rim protector. Smash that like button, subscribe with those notifications on. Want you guys to comment down below what build you want to see me make next. Yeah, go follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Everything's at the top of the screen and in the description. Until next time, it's Randy, and I'm out. Peace.